Good morning, everybody. Lil Johnny here. Uh, I am back with another podcast. Now, it's been a while since I've done a podcast. You know, I haven't really been thought it, thinking about it. Everything, man. But let's get into this. I'm going give to give a shout out to Emily real quick. Um, she asked for one, and yeah. So, shout out to Emily for giving, for being one of the first people to come up with this idea of the podcast. And just for being a, a loving fan and talking about me to her family and spreading the music around. Spread the vibe, you know. But uh, let's get into this topic. Today's topic, we are going to be talking about how Black Lives Matter. And we're just talking about what's going on around the world. So, if you guys don't know who George Floyd is, he was a black citizen. And the cops, I don't know what he did wrong to get him on the ground and arrested. He didn't, wasn't doing anything. It was probably just a misdemeanor crime that he could have gone to jail and got out the next day. But, they put they put a knee on his neck. The cop put his knee on his neck and killed him. So, and then, you know, people out there need to understand. And the cops, if you're listening to this, please, please, please understand that you have to not use too much force because, you know, that's not right. The police, you guys got to, like, stop doing that. You know, all those cops who are on the scene are now in jail because they did that shit. And that, and that ain't right. You know, that's not right. And I want you guys to really understand that Black Lives Matter, like, they were trying to use their power to scare them, but scare George Floyd. But we need justice, and that already happened. But a lot of stuff been going on. You know, you got the uh, riots, the protesting, and it's okay to protest. But the problem is they are looting, and, and looting... You know, looting is like, you rob a store. Do you guys know what the hell they're doing? They're literally breaking windows with, like, chairs or whatever the hell they're using. They're breaking windows. They're stealing stuff. My mom literally just told me they are raising the prices on everything. They are raising the prices on everything because people loot, want to steal, and think it's funny. They already set a homeless man on fire. They were they were destroying cop cars, and the cops do as much. They can do only do so much because there's like too many people. And during this coronavirus, you know, there's already too many people doing that stuff. And I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't loot. Like, someone wanted me to go riot with them, like, start a riot, but I didn't want it to because then it would turn into looting. I like I wouldn't loot because I wouldn't steal. But they would, and it would turn into that. And I think it's a possibility. Possible, possible chance that, you know, it, it, it probably would turn into something like that. You know, my grandma just told me that, you know, you know, looting, it's not right. Like, I understand, yes, they killed a black man, but there's no reason to take it out on, other, on the businesses. Like, you can't take it out on other people. You know, like, you can't just break in the stores and steal shit because, like, you're so angry and everything and, and all this stuff that's, and uh, all this stuff's been going on. Like, now my grandma told me, and my grandma told me this, they're gonna, the virus is gonna get worse because people aren't wearing a mask, some people wear masks, and people are not six feet away during the riots, and, and, and the looting, and there's gonna be a whole nother pandemic and a whole nother lockdown in the future, not soon, but in the future, in the, in the fall. You know, we just got out of the quarantine, but I'm still trying to be careful because of this whole virus and, and people not wearing a mask and everything, but... Black lives matter, and I want you guys to understand that black lives matter. All lives should matter, but mostly black lives matter. And I'm not saying this because I'm black. I'm saying this because, you know, these people, these African-American people who work all the time, they deserve a chance, you know. They do deserve a chance. You know, things were different back then. Some black people were in slavery, some ran away, some got their ass kicked, and some were picked on, you know, white and black people couldn't be together in those days, because things were a lot different back then, you know, different colors, different rules, and, and, you know, different jobs and stuff, but, but that was, like, that was in the old days, these days, it's different now, and, yeah, and there are racist, there are still some racist people that are racist and everything, but you gotta realize that the more racist, the more someone might get that depression or suicidal, I was feeling like that once, but, you know, but you got to understand that, you know, black people deserve respect. When I look at a cop, I think a hero. I think, you know, someone who will love and protect and serve. But when I look at a black person, 
I think that person is great. You know, when I look at a white person, I think we should treat them with respect. You know, treat others the way you want to be treated. You know, be, God tells us to be nice to people. Even Jesus tells us to be nice to people, not just the people we are nice to. You know, you know, you gotta be friends with everyone. You know, I mean, sometimes you can't trust too many people, but sometimes you gotta trust your gut and go with your heart. You know, it, it's like it, it's like that. But you gotta understand and realize, guys, that you know, the more you meet someone, you don't, you can't judge someone before you get to know them. You know, the, the more you know the person, the more you're gonna. Get attached to them, and, and I and I understand that and stuff, but you've got to realize that you know black lives do matter, um, because you know things you can't treat this generation, this whole new generation, like it was thirty or seventy five years ago. You can't treat black people. Like we they they got treated many years ago, and black lives matter. You gotta understand. Maybe all lives matter, but mostly black lives do matter. Like, hey, you gotta understand though. You know, how many businesses are losing because people are looting, and the prices are going up. How many people do you know when the prices go up? A whole lot of hardship goes in, and I want you guys to understand and do this because listen to me. The more you loot, the more it's going to get worse. It's not going to look bad on the cops. It's going to look bad on you. But you got to understand, there's no point of looting. Like, by grinding and protesting, I can probably understand. But looting, nah, it ain't going to work like that. And I'm just trying to tell you guys the benefit of the doubt and everything, man. But, like, you got to understand... You can't loot because you're angry. I But, like, it's not okay to loot because, you know, tear gassing and the cops could tear gas you. And, you know, you could go to jail for a long time for that. Because you do the crime, you got to do the time, you know. It's like, how the hell are you going to get out of this situation now? You know, businesses, like, the Best Buy and Crystal Lake and the Xfinity, they, they were boarded up because they were afraid. And someone was coming on a train, like my mom said, someone was coming on the train from that place. And I do live in Crystal Lake, so. You know, I, there was a riot in Crystal Lake. There was, like, a protesting in Crystal Lake. But I don't think it was any looting. But mostly in the city of Chicago. Because you'd think because it's the big area. But Crystal Lake's the big area, too. But the city of Chicago is different and stuff. You know, first, on the news, they said they plan it out. Like, window shopping. Like, they shop in the window. And then they start breaking the window and tearing the glass up. And, you know... Even store owners said it's going to cost us a thousand dollars of damage to get this place cleaned up and to get this place looking spotless again. You know, it's going to take a while, but you got to understand, like, you can't just, what's the word I'm looking for? You can't just, you got to think before you react, you know, because Black Lives Matter and everything. And what's been going on in this world, you know, with George Floyd, I miss that guy. I didn't know him, but I know he had a family. And, you know, you got to understand that, you know, you kill somebody, you got to wake up. You got to go to bed every night saying, thinking that you killed every night for the rest of your life to the day you're dead. To the day you die, you got you got to go to bed before you go to sleep thinking that you killed somebody. And you put someone in danger. And you just killed a man. What the hell? So... Yeah, and I want you guys to really understand something. You know, we got to come together and start an alliance. We got to come together and, and we got to come together and be nice to each other. We got to come together and stop being freaking racist. We got to come together and start being the chain. We have to come together and start being what we got to be. We got to do what we got to do for real, for real. That's all I wanted to say to you guys because, you know, a bunch of going on in this world and everything, you know, it actually has to be something possibly problematic, you know, because, you know, a lot of people don't know how to stop this stuff and shit, man. Like, how are you going to stop this right? How are you going to stop that and that and that and that and yada, yada, yada? Like, you know, it's like it's, like, it's part of the, it's part of life. I'm trying to figure out problems, but, like, there's no point to take it out on other people, and, and you gotta have to understand that, like, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, just stay out of trouble, you know, it's like, looting, you can get in a lot of trouble for that, you know how much damage you'd have to pay for and everything, I'm telling you guys, a lot, a lot, a lot, so... You know, this podcast was made for viewers, and and uh, make sure you guys comment down below, and make sure you guys, uh, actually, make sure you guys Snapchat me. 
Well, make sure you guys put me on Instagram and comment down below what kind of uh what kind of podcast you want me to talk about. I'll probably make one with Jonah or some. I mean, <laughs> that's my name. I'll probably make one with a few friends. You know, like like my friend Christian. Like we'll probably make a podcast together and we'll do something. But yeah, so it's gonna be lit. But that's all for today. I'm Little Jonah. Hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. See you in the next one.